You know, I think we all have those classes where we just, we try our very hardest, we put our full effort into it, and we still cannot make grades for those classes. You know, you, you study your hardest, you know, you put hours into work, and when it comes to test time, you get like a D or an F. And I know for me, the two classes was Spanish and Chemistry. And to be honest, dude, when you put your full effort into anything, to come up short, it's it's like a punch below the ribs, man. It's like, if you're playing basketball, you're playing your best defense, you know, all up in a dude's face, and he just kind of throws a shot up and just drains it in your face. You know, it's a terrible feeling. I feel like the same thing was true for these two classes, for myself at least. Now, the final for chemistry was actually going to be on finals day. Uh, we took our Spanish final a few days before just because she didn't want to have to deal with that right before everyone left for the semester went on break to their Christmas stuff so it's about a week before we have to take this chemistry final and our teacher says that he's gonna allow people to make a cheat sheet for this test and by cheat sheet he meant that you could take an eight and a half by 11 inch paper and write whatever you want on the front and back of it and you can use that on the final. And I'm thinking, perfect, I'm gonna study my ass off, I'm gonna use this cheat sheet, and I'm gonna pull a good grade in this class. Now at the time, my GPA for all my classes was a 3.0 exactly. And in this chemistry class, I had an 81%. So the first day of studying comes around, and I'm thinking, ah, oh, you know, I'm, I'll, I'll study for that later. You know, I got, I got other finals to study for, I'll study for the chemistry final a little bit later. I have a whole week, two days pass. Oh, uh, you know, I, I gotta I gotta study for my math final, you know, I got I got other homework, I got basketball practice. The day before the final, and I just put my hands in my head, I'm just like crap, I forgot to study. So I get my chemistry book out and I open it up, I get my little piece of paper out, my little cheat sheet, and I'm thinking, okay, I gotta start writing. And as soon as I started to write, this girl texts me saying, Hey, what was the history homework? It was page 179, problems one through seven. But what are you doing right now? And she texts back like, oh, nothing, just studying for finals. I'm like, oh yeah, me too. I ended up texting her for 45 minutes. After which my thumbs were kind of hurting. I'm just like, okay, you know what? My thumbs are hurting. I can't write yet. I got to go take a shower. So I took my, my nice, it was about an hour and a half long shower to which I come back and it is now one o'clock. Screw it. I'm just not gonna make this cheat sheet. I'm not gonna study for it. I'm just gonna wing the final, but I should get, I'm, I'm gonna go for a B. You know, it shouldn't be too bad. So I get to class the next day and I walk in and everyone's talking about, you know, oh, balancing equations and oh, the valence electrons of nitrogen and all, all that stuff. So I just kind of take my seat and the teacher goes out to pass out all the tests. So he passes them all out and I look at number one and I don't know. It. I'm like, okay, okay, you know what? Not a big deal. I'm going to skip it. Number two, uh, okay, I don't know that one either. I'm going to skip it. We're good. We're fine. We're fine. Number three, uh, okay, this one is A or... Oh, this one might be C. Oh, but D is all of the above. It has to be that. Oh, number three is all of the above, too. Oh, number four is all of the above, too. Oh, same with five. Okay, no, I have three Ds in a row now. Okay, this next one needs to be B. I'm going to mix it up. You know, I'm going to be that unpredictable answer sheet filler inner. Okay, number seven. Don't know it. I'm looking at my test right now, and then I'm just like, dude, I don't know any of this stuff. And I'm thinking to myself, you are going to get a bad grade on this test. You are not going to pass this class, bro. And all of a sudden, I'm seeing this 3.0 that I worked so hard to achieve that semester just slip away. And while I'm watching that 3.0 slip away, I noticed that the girl sitting diagonal to me is just zooming through this test. You know, she's not even taking a breath. And contrary to popular belief, you don't want to cheat off the person sitting next to you or the person in front of you. You want it to be the person diagonal from you. That way you could hide behind the person in front of you so the teacher doesn't see you and then their answer sheet is kind of off to the side so you get that perfect angle on it. You could just pretend like you're stretching, oh I'm just going to stretch and lean forward in my desk and oh number 7C, awesome. So I start doing that, it's working, you know, she's just keeping the answers there. It's almost like she was asking me to cheat, you know. She basically held the answers out to me and she's like, Drew, I want you to cheat. You know, it was unfair. So I'm going through the whole test and I finally finish and I notice that our answers are exactly the same to the last one. Okay, okay, this may look a little suspicious. I'm just gonna wait for her to turn hers in, and I'm gonna turn mine in a few sheets later. That way, they're not right next to each other. They can't, you know, no one will compare them. It'll be fine. 
So I'm watching her and I'm waiting for her to turn hers in because she's been done for like 10 minutes. And I noticed that she's going through the test all over again. She's triple checking her answers. I'm just like, you know what? Screw this. I'm just going to turn mine in right now. She's still taking her time. So I walk up, turn mine in, slap it down with confidence on that teacher's desk. Walk back, sit in my seat only to see the girl that I copied off of put hers down right on top of mine. Now, when he grades it, we're both going to get the same 87%. And he's going to be like, oh, that's a little strange. He's going to compare them and he's going to see, oh, this smart girl got an 87%. Good for her. Oh, Drew doesn't understand a word I'm saying in this class. And he got an 87% too. And their answers are exactly the same. I was going to get busted. So now I'm sitting in class. There's about 10 minutes left. And I'm thinking, okay, I got to come up with a plan. I got to figure out a way to not get caught. So I've devised this plan. All I'm going to do is I'm going to wait for class to end, I'm going to go straight to the teacher and I'm going to ask him to grade mine right there because I was so concerned with this class and it would break my heart if I didn't get a good grade. And you know, I was going to do this whole sob story and in doing so I'd be able to pull my test from the pile, thus separating it from the girl I cheated off of, give it to him, have him grade mine, and I will be out of there and on my break and I will be feeling so good. Well, five minutes before class ends, he gets a phone call, steps outside to take it. I'm thinking, okay, not a big deal. The dude takes the entire five minutes to take that call. And so the bell finally rings and, you know, the kids aren't just going to wait for the teacher to come back in to leave. They all just hurtle out, you know, they're just trampling all sorts of stuff. Crap, he's not even in here. And then a little light bulb appears above my head. And I'm thinking, he's not in here. I could just switch the test right now. So I go over to the pile of tests and I start flipping through them, looking for mine so I could mix it in with someone else's so I don't get caught for cheating. So I'm flipping through it, and as soon as I find mine, I start to pull it out, and he walks in the door, and I get caught red-handed with that test, and it looks suspicious, and I come up with this quick excuse like, oh, I forgot to uh, put the the um, uh, uh, date on it. Yeah, I, I forgot to put the date on it because that's so crucial to the grading of my test. So I take it back to my desk real quick and rewrite the date that I had already perfectly written on the answer sheet give it back to him and he kind of looks at it with a funny look and then he hands me an actual test and takes one for himself and I'm thinking well what are you doing and he's like Drew what's number 18 uh 18 um uh C he's like huh it's funny because you put A on your answer sheet must have just been a lucky guess he's like uh-huh mm -hmm. okay what's number 24 I'm thinking crap um B he's all like huh because you put D on your answer sheet we're just like dude okay my bad I'm, I'm just stressed out you know it's finals and he's like what was number 54 now he had this planned out 54 if I would have actually read it was probably one of the easiest questions of my life but I didn't even read it I was panicking I'm like uh a and he's like no the answer is B and so he's just like all right you know what it's obvious that you cheated on this test just leave so now I'm leaving his class, I'm thinking, crap, he caught me, I don't even know what grade I'm going to get in that class. So I get home, I go online to check whatever grade I ended up in his class in, and I see that I got an 87 on the final. But then he docked me for cheating to a 75.6, and I'm thinking, well, that's kind of a weird number to put me at. And well, maybe I had some, you know, formula, some chemical reaction formula to devise that number. And I look at my final grade... And this smart freaking chemistry teacher calculated the exact percent that I had to get on that test to not pass his class. I ended up with a 79.9% in his class. He literally docked my test grade so that I would be one point off. And I think it's safe to say that I wasn't hoping for him to round that grade up or anything. I ended up not getting a 3.0 that semester. Next semester, I got an A in this class and a 3.7. Moral of the story is that while I don't condone cheating, I understand it. And I understand that there's people out there who just work extremely hard to get a good grade in the class and just come up short. And I understand how crappy that feeling can feel. But also know that cheating can always come back to haunt you. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any similar stories, be sure to leave them in the comments. A rating would be greatly appreciated. And if you haven't already, please subscribe.